Okay guys, I just woke up not too long ago. Today is day of surgery. Um, I am really nervous, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm nervous. I'll be back in a little bit. Excuse the mess in the background and my mirror, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to record with this setup at the doctor's, it's gonna be so obvious. I don't know, we're gonna see. Cause I need my microphone so you can hear my voice and shit. Because without the microphone, the audio is the shit. But we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see. Okay, guys, so this is what I need to wash my body with. This soap, whatever the doctor told me to, to use. This, excuse my dirty table. But this thing smells nasty. It stinks. It smells like a, I can't even explain the smell. Like it just smells weird as fuck. It doesn't mean smell good. On our way to the surgery center! I was gonna record myself coming to your car. Oh, I got music. Can you open on the other side? No, I closed it. This is the room, you guys. I'm out of breath from all those stairs. We're gonna get the other stuff right now, chat. Hold on. This is one room. My goddaughter was laying on there earlier. It's a pretty cute, cute room. The bathroom. Nice, cute shower. Let's go to the other one. Oh shit, it's a big ass room. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, that's a big bathroom. Where's the light? Of course, she got the bathroom with a nice shower. <laughs> okay, here we are. All right, we're here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Why is it not clearing? There it is. We're here. Oh shit, I was gonna park there, but there's glass. All right, so that's the building right there. Right, right over there. Right there. All right, we're in the room. They want me to change into this. Okay, you guys, I'm in the bathroom. I couldn't record earlier while I was at the um, surgery place because I have the balls. But like, can I record uh, record you marking me up? I have the balls to do that. But the surgery went well. Um, the surgery went well. I can't really hold the phone too far off to show my face. I have to hold like this. I have to keep my okay. The incision, the incisions were through my armpits. So I cannot lift my arms up or really move them, or really move them to have to stay down. Um, when I left there, the pain level was an excruciating like 11. Um, my pain was so bad after surgery to the point where I was vomiting. Um, and I didn't eat anything because they told me not to eat. So it was like basically like the yellow stuff in your stomach. So I threw that up. Um, and when I bought my medicine, I did not buy any Zofran. Now, this is probably why they said to get the Zofran. Because they told me right after surgery, I could have took a Zofran. So I won't be feeling like I'm all nauseous. And then the Traumadon, the painkillers, it was too strong to the point where it made me want to throw up. So we had to, um, my sugar daddy came and brought some um, Tylenol for me. 500 um, milligrams of Tylenol. Take that, two of them, and it fucking works. And I bought some type of um, motion sickness medication to help you not to vomit over the counter, which was way cheaper than the Zofran from the pharmacy. And um, I can't eat anything all day, nothing heavy, just like soup and like crackers. It's just light stuff. So I've just been eating tomato soup and milk, chocolate milk and water. Um, the doctors actually really 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 friendly everyone's really friendly it's just because the building now this doing the surgery made me real i mean i'm really we're gonna take these bandages bandages off tomorrow but i gotta remember don't judge a book by its cover like i thought it was gonna be shitty people they weren't even shitty they were really nice um and yeah i'm gonna take these bandages bandages off um tomorrow 
And when I say judge, I mean like, I got the, the I got the, I found him through Groupon and all that stuff. And I'm not even gonna lie, that's how I found the doctor. And you can't really judge. So tomorrow we're gonna take these bandages off. And see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, I just woke up not too long ago. Um, I can't hold my phone or my tripod and I can't really put my phone on a tripod because it's, I can't. I'm not gonna be using my muscles too much or arms. But when I woke up this morning, I had, like, my left boob was, like, it was just, like, a really burning sensation. Like, it was just burning. If I tried to straighten my back, like, a, from, like, the nipple area all the way over here, it was just, like, burning on fire. And I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Um, and I looked, I Googled it, and they were saying that it's just the nerves. It's the nerves because they're being stretched. And that's why that's just it's just the nerves. So I'm glad it's just the nerves, nothing serious. So um, yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, right now I'm two day post op. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Got my notes on my phone. I'm gonna show you guys my results right now and before and after results. But let me first put on my notes. Excuse the noise in the background. Okay, so um. Okay, so yesterday, um, before surgery, I had to take a fucking shit. And, but I didn't want to take a shit at the doctor's office because I was nervous. <laughs> and when they were about to, I even asked the nurse, I was like, if I have to go number two now, you think I'm gonna use it on myself during the operating, <laughs> while they're operating? Because my body's gonna be so relaxed from the anesthesia. She told me no. So I was like, okay, cool. So I couldn't use the bathroom. So anyway, long story short, that happened. And then when they let me go, when I left after surgery, I was so like, the pain was ridiculous. Um, I had to throw up. I was very nauseous. I didn't buy my Zolfram pills because they cost too much. I couldn't afford it. So I didn't buy them. But I had my other medication. Um, so then I did throw up um from the anesthesia and the pain was the pain was like an 11. the pain was really 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 bad um and the pain it was like people said it feels like an elephant's on your chest or uh you got hit by, by a truck that's not a good explanation it, <laughs> It feels like your chest is about to explode, is what it felt like to me. Like it's gonna fucking explode. Um, and I kept on having like this burning, firing sensation in my left boob on this one. It's like the nipple and all the way around was just like burning, like, 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 and then, like, out of nowhere, it felt like I was getting zapped, like I'm getting tasered. Like, like, it was just the pain was, it was, it was, it was bad. It was really bad. Um, but when we got to the doctor um, yesterday, um, to the one because after surgery the next day I went back to the doctor to, to take the bandages off, and when I took the bandages off, I was telling the lady, "Oh my gosh, I'm so much in pain. It's burning. It's like I'm having a sting sensation." And she's like, "Oh, don't worry. As soon as you take the bandages off, it's gonna go away. As soon as they remove all the bandages off of me, that pain went away. It literally went away." Um, but I am a little sore now. Right now I'm taking um, Traumadon. So I'm not really feeling anything. But if I'm not on the medication, it doesn't really hurt. But I feel pain. Um, if that makes sense. Like tolerable pain. And um, let me see what else in my notes. Okay. Okay. And um, also too, I want to say that my left boob i don't have no type of i can't feel anything this one yes this one no i don't feel shit. um do i like my results yeah i like them but you know i can't really tell until after like a few weeks so i'm gonna go take my shirt off and show you guys what it looks like what i look like this is the before and this is the after The reason why I have this towel here is because my incisions are underneath my armpit. 
and I didn't want the bra to cut into the incision, so I put the towels there. Now I'm gonna show you guys my scars. Um, I know, I know they look pretty, kinda bad, but I'm hoping that it doesn't stay this way. Can you guys see that? My incisions right there, it kinda looks like it might be a keloid. I'm not quite sure. And this one's even worse. Just can see that. That's my incision, you guys. Excuse my little prickly armpits. This is the incision. You guys see that? Um, I'm gonna be after a few weeks <laughs> after, after my, my my week um post op appointment. I'm going to start using um, silicone sheets on the scars so the so the scars can be more flat and go away. So we're gonna see that's that's that's, that's the well you guys I'm sorry I don't I'm I'm kinda a little medicate I'm kinda a little feeling <laughs> hey, this is my nurse, my goddaughter, but um I'm I'm feeling kind of I feel a little high from the medication. I'm sorry, it's my main, my brain's kind of like scattered. I hope I don't leave anything out in this video. If you guys have any questions that if I left out something out, I don't know you guys wanna know, just comment below and I'll answer you. Um, but yeah, that's for the most part. The next, I can't take a shower until tomorrow. And I did have me doing exercise like this with my hands. This was yesterday, not today. My exercises are hands up. Move shoulder backwards five times. Move shoulder forward five times. That's my exercise for today. Um, every 30 minutes, I'm supposed to do that. And um, yeah, right now I'm just taking my trauma on and I'm taking um, um, volume at nighttime and my antibiotics. So yeah, you guys. The next video, I'm gonna give you guys an update after my one, my one week post-op. And let you guys know how everything's looking and feeling and all that stuff. So hope this video is informative. Peace out and toodles to all my happy trails out there. Bye guys. This is what this crop top looks like. Why isn't it fucking more light in here? This is what this crop top looks like. Um, excuse my fan in the bathroom before. You guys want to see what this looks like after. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the shirt. I can't fully really put it on because I can't um, lift my arms up. But you guys have an idea. And I purposely told the doctor I do not want um, my boobs in my chest like Cardi B. So he didn't give me that look. This is it.